always alerting, always tracking. This is Next Weather. Well, we've hit the lottery as far as the weather goes yeah. these last couple of days, Ivan Cabrera. Just we so certainly pretty. have. Absolutely. Is it going to stick around? It is going to stick around uh, for the next uh, couple of days, and then we're tracking a little bit of rainfall heading into uh, the weekend. February 1st on the way for tomorrow. Rent is due already. Can you believe it? As we check in on the second month of uh, the year, we'll talk about your 70 forecast here. We're 72. We hit 73 earlier this afternoon, so really not too far away from uh, the uh, daytime highs. Everybody checked in at 73 for the maximum temperature uh, today. Don't see that every day with temperatures tonight uh, going cool again. We had another front coming in. This is a boundary that's going to just reinforce our cool morning. So we'll get one more before we shift the winds and then that will begin to uh, get us into a milder setup beginning uh, on uh, Thursday or beginning on Friday and heading into the weekend. We'll wake up with temperatures a little bit milder. These are the winds as well. They've been gusty uh, throughout the day today, um, generally between 10 and 15, but gusting as high as uh, 30 miles an hour. 23 right now is the gust in Miami. Quiet as can be, though. You saw that on our camera there with an X-ray radar network not showing much, but that's also going to change as we're going to get some uh, big pattern change coming up heading into uh, the weekend. So cool start for your Thursday tomorrow by the afternoon. Same deal. Very similar day. Have a little more cloud cover. I think for tomorrow it won't be completely blue skies and high pressure will still be in charge uh, through Saturday. Saturday cloud cover begins to increase, but it won't be until Sunday that the storm system, which is by the way right now over the Pacific Northwest, it's going to transition and move southeast and then eventually spawn this low in the Gulf. That's what's going to get us on Sunday with showers and storms. There'll be leftover showers on Monday, but the bigger day as far as the rainfall will be on Sunday, and that's when I'm expecting most of the rainfall to fall. And now uh, models have been trending up as far as the total. So upwards of half an inch uh, potentially here coming up uh, for Sunday and into a Monday as well. So highest rainfall tallies we've seen in some time. For now, pretty quiet. Northwest flow continues, but notice the arrows here beginning to shift on shore, and that's what's going to shut off our cool morning lows. Even by Friday morning already, we'll wake up with cloud cover and also with temperatures that'll be a lot milder than what we've been experiencing. A couple little showers on to Friday, not a huge deal. We'll leave that at 10%, and then on Saturday, we clear things out before we get into the big storms on Sunday. Some of them could be locally strong, so we'll watch that closely for you. Lower 50s again for tonight. There could be a few upper 40s. You did that in Kendall this morning. Could do it again for this uh, overnight hour. And then by the afternoon, we'll go from the 50s back into the mid 70s. So another pretty spectacular day, save for the uh, cloud cover, which will be a little bit uh, more prevalent through the afternoon with those temperatures uh, getting into the 70s. As far as the extended forecast, we'll leave temps in the mid 70s. That's not going to change. But notice the overnight low temperatures. Those are going to be in the uh, 60s. And then on Sunday, uh, we are going to see, uh, we're going to be talking about a Sunday afternoon rain chances at 70% and that's what I'm thinking we could have the potential for some stronger storms leftover showers on Monday and then uh, we begin to clear things out and turn windy by Tuesday and next Wednesday.